Okay, welcome. Today we are going to listen to a listener sample, and she's from Turkey. So she sent in a short sample from the Caterpillar Passage. And if you want to find that and do it yourself, I have another video called Listener Samples or something like that. And you too could send in a sample. Um, just email it to me. So um, I'm going to analyze her speech and we're going to listen to how she does all the different elements of an accent. So we're going to listen to her prosody, how she links words together, syllable stress, word stress, vowels, and consonants. Okay, so let's see how she does. The caterpillar. Do you like amusement parks? Well, I sure do. To amuse myself, I went twice last spring. My most memorable moment was riding on the caterpillar, which is a gigantic roller coaster high above the ground. When I saw how high the caterpillar was into the bright blue sky, I knew it was for me. So on the sentence, well, I sure do. Well, I sure do. So since the person is asking, do you like amusement parks? And then they go back and say, well, I sure do. We would probably emphasize and go higher and louder on the word I because we're contrasting I to you. Which is a gigantic roller coaster. When she says the phrase, which is a gigantic roller coaster, I didn't hear the is. She might have been uh, reading quickly and just skipped over it. I heard which a gigantic roller coaster. So make sure you get that is in there, even though it's kind of a small word and doesn't get much emphasis, it still needs to be there. Which is a gigantic roller coaster high above the ground. Um, as far as linking, and this also goes into consonant pronunciation, the bright blue sky, I knew it was for me. She's very clear with her T sounds at the end of bright and it. And in America, we tend to not say them very prominently at the end of words. It kind of, they kind of lose their aspiration, their air at the end of words. We would just say bright blue sky, bright, bright rather than bright blue sky. Can you hear the difference between bright and bright blue sky? And I knew it, I knew it was, I knew it was, rather than I knew it was for me. It was for me, it was, is what I'm hearing. And we would just say, I knew it was, I knew it was. Um, not a big deal, because overall that sounded pretty good. Let's see, and let's go on to vowels. Her vowels are mostly really good. Um, the only thing I, that really popped out to me was the word saw, ah, ah. When I saw, it kind of went into a saw, saw, saw. It needs to be just saw, saw, just straight open, tall, saw, saw. When I saw how high, I'm hearing more of a saw. Well, I sure do. Um, the American U is very kind of long and your lips are rounded. Do, 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 rather than de. I sure do. So just hold out the, the U sound a little bit longer. I sure do. And make sure you round your lips. I sure do. One more sound. It's the, the U sound in amusement. It's not just a, a plain old U, ooh, ooh. There's a Y kind of sound in front of it, like U, like you and me. So after the M, there's like an invisible Y sound, amusement, amusement, amusement parks. Everything else sounded pretty good for vowels. All right, so consonants. So for the consonants, um, there's the T issue. It's, it wasn't a big deal. But T at the end of words is pronounced differently than T at the beginning of words. T at the, en the end of the word is usually just you know, very unaspirated. It's just kind of there like, Moment, bright, bright blue sky, it, I knew it, I knew it was for me. Um, not a big deal, but those were pronounced a little more prominently than most Americans would, but n not a big deal. The one other thing was the word above. High above the ground. The V at the end, it wasn't pronounced very clearly. I knew what she was saying, but I think the V could have been pronounced a little better. Just make sure your teeth are on your lower lip and it vibrates above, above, high above, high above the ground, high above the ground, high above the ground. 
And that's it. Mostly it was really good. Good job.